Hello and welcome to another FOG video. This is a video guide on how to optimize and boost the FPS for Genshin Impact. I'd like to point out the guide will definitely be helpful for high-end systems, but it will boost mid-range and low-end gaming PC systems with a higher degree of effectiveness. The guide will not only show you how to boost the FPS, but it will also improve the game's quality and system's performance. In turn, this should help fix any lag or FPS drops or stutters that you could be experiencing whilst you play. But first and foremost, we're gonna go over the very best tips, tricks and settings for gaming on Windows 10 step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Clean out your shader cache. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This basically cleanses and resets your stored shaders, which are basically tones and textures that your installed games save. Every time there's a new update, more are added on. Shader compiling can cause crashes, stutters, freezes, and even overheating in some cases. It uses extra memory too. Resetting your shader cache should always be the first thing you do before installing a new game or when a new update comes along. Now there's a link in the description for a video that will show you two simple ways on how to easily clean and reset your shader cache. Step two, to ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise that you switch off every overlay and background application while you play. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuner, and any others that could affect the performance while you game. This is mostly for players with low-end gaming systems that need all the power they can get, basically. To turn the Steam overlay off, just head into the Steam setting menu, click in-game and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game. To turn off the Nvidia GeForce overlay, open up Nvidia GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to general and switch off the in-game overlay. For Xbox Game Bar, using the window search bar, type game mode settings and then click the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game bar and of course set it off. Then you navigate back to the left and click on captures where you then need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. For Discord all you need to do is open settings and on the left select overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says enable in-game overlay. After you've done that navigate to advanced and make sure hardware acceleration is set to off as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3 in the Windows search bar, type in Game Mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure Game Mode is set to On. For quite some time, there were issues with this particular setting, but Microsoft has now finally fixed it. So basically, if you're running the very latest version of Windows 10, make sure you turn Game Mode On. This will force all your PC resources on the game you're playing and suppresses any background activity from affecting your system while you game. Step number four. Navigate back to Windows search bar, type in graphics settings and click the icon. Now in here you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This needs to be set to on and if it wasn't you will need to restart your PC after you turn it on. Once that's done navigate down to graphics performance preference and you'll want to add Genshin Impact to your graphics performance list to get the most out of your game. In order to do this you'll need to know exactly where your game is installed and you'll need to add the game's launch application to the list. Of course as you'll know Genshin Impact is available on Epic so here's a little tip on how to add the launcher to your graphics list. First open up your file explorer, head to the drive where your game is installed, mine is installed in my specific games drive and can be found inside the Epic's folder. Then once you're there just click the Genshin Impact folder and then head up to the address bar and copy that whole address. Once you've done that Close it down, head back to your graphics list window, click browse and then click the address bar at the top. All you then do is paste the address and hit enter. Then you just find the application icon for Genshin Impact which will be the launcher and you simply add it to your graphics list. Finally all you do is click on options and set it to high performance then click save and then you're done. Step 5 go back to the window search bar once again, type in power plan and click edit power plan. At the very top click 
power options and under preferred plans ensure high performance is selected. Step six, if you have multiple screens, I would advise to only have one screen on when you play. If you press the Windows key and P together, you will bring up a menu that lets you select which screens to have on. Step seven, background apps. Simply type settings into Windows search bar and click the icon, then select privacy. On the left menu, scroll down all the way until you see background apps. Then simply switch off, let apps run in the background. Step eight, the Windows Registry Edit. Now this step may look a little daunting, but it really isn't, I promise. Just follow along and you're gonna be 100% just fine. First, just head on over to the Windows search bar. Type in run and hit enter. Once the new window opens up, simply type in reg edit, as you see on screen, and hit enter once again. You're now inside the Windows registry editor. In here, we're going to optimize and tweak a couple of values that will set important Windows registry keys to completely prioritize gaming above all else. This includes your CPU resources. So start off by double clicking H key local machine, then double click software, then find the Microsoft folder and once again double click it. Then scroll down until you find Windows NT and you guessed it, double click that. Then double click the current version folder and finally scroll down until you find the multimedia folder and double click that one. You'll now be seeing a folder called System Profile and I want you to just click that one once. Now to the right, you will see two options inside. One is titled Network Throttling Index and the other is titled System Responsiveness. Starting with Network Throttling, I want you to double click it and delete any any value you see in there and then you proceed to type in eight F's as in FF 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 and this will actually disable network throttling completely which is extremely beneficial for gaming now once that's done click OK and exit next up double click on system responsiveness and change the value to zero this will actually ensure all your CPU resources go towards gaming and once you've edited the values inside these two registries head back over to the left and double click on system profile then double click on tasks and then click the games folder just once Head over to the right and double click on GPU priority and set the value data to eight. You then click OK. Next up, double click priority and change the value to six and click OK. Finally, double click on scheduling category and change the value data to high if it wasn't already and click on OK. You have now successfully optimized the Windows registry for gaming. Step number nine, clearing out your temp folder. This is a pretty simple step and it will clear away a huge amount of unnecessary dumped files that are just simply cluttering your machine. Firstly, head down to the Windows search bar and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Once the window pops up, you will need to ensure that your hidden items are actually showing as this is a hidden folder. To do that, all you need to do is click on view at the top and then tick the box to the right that says hidden items. Once you've done that, click app data on the address bar and you will see a sort of transparent folder called local. Double click on it and then scroll all the way down until you find another transparent folder that's called temp. Once inside here, you'll want to click and drag your mouse to highlight every single file inside the folder. Then just right click on your mouse and select delete. A window will pop up and what you simply need to do is tick the box that says do this for all current items and then click skip and keep doing the same until the process is finished and you're only actually left with the files that are actually being used by your machine inside the folder. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the game and we're gonna change a couple of things. Now, with pretty much any game, we can just put everything on low and that would be just fine. You'll probably get smooth performance, but the visual quality would just be poor. The whole point is to try and maintain as high a graphical quality as we can whilst we try and squeeze out the very most amount of FPS. And that's exactly what we aim to try with this guy. So head into the game and head into the options menu and go to graphics. Now graphics quality will change to custom as soon as we start tinkering anyway so just skip it. For display mode ensure you are using your monitor's native resolution. Mine is 1440p so it's set to 2560 by 1440 windowed. Full screen would be better but 
Genshin Impact only has that option available for 4K monitors, so windowed it is. Then for brightness, just set it to whatever your preference is. Next up, for FPS, you'll want to set it to 60 FPS, and then V-Sync is really down to you. However, if you have it on, it will stop your screen from tearing, but you will have input latency, which is very low, but could give you a disadvantage against your competition, especially in multiplayer games. Setting it off does remove that input latency, but you might see some tearing. It should be minimal, as it's only really that noticeable at higher frame rates. And also, if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor, then I'd say just set it off, as your monitor will deal with the tearing all by itself. Then for render resolution, I'd say try 0.8, 1.0 and 1.1 and see what feels the best. But you should see better performance at 0.8. Shadow quality should be on low or lowest as this always in every game has huge impact on performance. And let's be honest, you don't really need to go any higher than low. I mean, it's just shadows anyway. For visual effects, I'd recommend either low or medium. Anything else seems to have too much of an impact. SFX should really be on low here. For environment detail, I'd say medium or high, as it will still give you great graphical quality, which we still want to maintain, obviously. Then next up, for anti-aliasing, volumetric fog, reflections, motion blur, and bloom, you should set them all off. You just don't need it for your graphics, and it will boost your FPS and performance tremendously. For crowd density, go low. You can leave co-op teammate effects on. Subsurface scattering should be set to medium. And finally, anisotropic filtering should be either on times two or times four. Try both and see what feels the best. And that's basically it. Of course, all these settings really depend on your machine, so definitely play around and see what works best for you and your own system. I really do hope this guide helps you in some way or another if you do have any questions just pop them in the comments section below thank you very much for watching a goodbye